Hey everybody, welcome back to the Sintatar Fragrance Channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today. My name is Benjamin. I do review fragrances, colognes, perfumes, and all things scent related for y'all. I'd love to help y'all save some money, have some fun, and smell great. That's what this channel is about, smelling great, helping you smell fantastic out there. So I'm going to talk about five signature scent worthy fragrances. I want to do a shout out to Darren the Devil who did tag me in this video um, and, set, and just give a little bit of my backstory. Um, uh, he asked me to just do a signature scent uh, that I never really have had a signature scent. Um, I did blow through and wear a whole bottle of uh, Mont Blanc Starwalker during college. It's a very inoffensive fragrance. And if you're looking for those inoffensive fragrances, guys, uh, go for Prada Lunarosa Carbon. Go for Nautica Voyage. Go for Mont Blanc Starwalker. If you're in the office, a lot of people are talking about office scents. Those ones are not going to hurt the bank. They're very inoffensive, and they're, people like those fragrances. For some reason, recently, a lot of people just don't talk about those blue fragrances or those you know, semi-aquatic fragrances as much. But those are still great fragrances, and they still do the job, so check those out. I also want to uh, just introduce and share these fragrances, and before I do, talk about what a signature scent is. To me, a signature scent is a fragrance that is easy to wear in every season, it's good for all four seasons, no matter where you live. If you have, you know, really short summers or really, really long summers, all those situations. A fragrance that's really going to be a fragrance for anybody, no matter where you live, uh, good for every season, has enough strength to stand up to every, you know, cold or, you know, be, you know, you can underspray it for the heat, all those kinds of things. Um, so let's, in, let's talk about these fragrances, introduce them to you. There's some real beauties here today. Okay, first one is Caligna by El Artisan. Now, I did introduce this fragrance, and a lot of you guys, some of you guys out there didn't like that I said this was a pretty fragrance. This isn't going to be for the macho man. This fragrance is not for the uber masculine uh, guy, maybe a weightlifter type of guy. Um, this is not for you. This is a floral unisex fragrance. It's a little bit sweet. It has some oak in the dry down. Uh, this fragrance has a tropical citrus floral quality, and the beautiful florals in this is Frogipani, which is a note that you got to get your nose on if you haven't tried it out. There's something special and tropical about that note. Uh, this fragrance is very unisex. Um, some people might feel like it leans a little bit more feminine. I feel like it's perfectly unisex, and I feel comfortable wearing it, but I do feel like it's a classy, pretty fragrance. I think ladies... If you've been interested in looking for a fragrance that was citrus, uh, you know, something that it gave you those really nice summer vibes, but you want something a little bit classy, but yet playful, and you wanted to step up to something, uh, maybe, you know, step out of those uh, celebrity fragrances, and you wanted something a little bit playful and a little bit classy, I think this is perfect. It's This fragrance is not going to hurt the bank, both guys and gals. You can find this one at discounters for $70 to $80. I don't know too much about the availability of this one. El Artisan fragrances seem to come and go. Sometimes they're discontinued. And uh, this fragrance is kind of criminally underrated. It doesn't get as much love as it should. So sometimes the fragrances are discontinued. But it takes a year or quite a while for the fragrance, the stock to dry up. So I hope this one's not discontinued. Uh, um, it's getting a little bit harder to find, but Caligna is a beautiful tropical citrus kind of fragrance with a beautiful light wood dry down. I really do like the oak in the dry down. Um, again, it smells pretty and inviting. It, this one almost smells like an atelier and how it smells. So check it out. If you know atelier and how well they do citrus fragrances, that speaks to the quality and the beauty of this fragrance. So check it out. The next one is a fragrance that's perhaps a little bit more for, you know, you men out there. This one is, again, a fragrance that's a little bit more metro. I think that you masculine men can pull this off. This is my large and beautiful full-size bottle of Dior Homme O. This is a beauty in my collection. I treasure this. Uh, what you're getting out of this fragrance, of course, if you know Dior Homme, uh, you're getting some iris. The iris in this fragrance doesn't smell overtly... Uh, lipsticky to me it does have a little bit of that waxiness but it doesn't have the sharpness it does not smell medicinal or sharp to my nose um, this fragrance almost has a little bit of this blue uh, aspect to this fragrance um, it doesn't smell like Dior Sauvage or anything like that it doesn't have a shampoo vibe 
but it does lean a little bit towards more the mass appealing, uh, you know, kind of just modern fragrance. Some of y'all might not feel like this is overtly unique, but as it dries down, I get a little bit of almost an abroxin to this fragrance. Um, it's, it's just a beautiful, mass appealing, inoffensive fragrance. Again, if you're looking for an office fragrance, if you're just looking to be a very charming guy, um, I think that this is a step up from a lot of those blue shampoo-like fragrances. I think that this has a lot of class. This is really nice because it's subtle. It doesn't speak too loudly, but it definitely is there. And it's a very nice fragrance. If you're a guy who likes to be clean cut, clean clothes, um, this is, again, a really beautiful fragrance that can be dressed up in a professional way in the office. So Dior Homme O is a beautiful thing. If you haven't tried it, I encourage you to get your nose on it. Uh, that, again, is another one that might be discontinued sometime soon. Okay, so this is a newer brand. Uh, this one is not anywhere near being discontinued. This one is 10 AM Flirt by Kirin. This is a new kind of indie niche brand. Uh, these ones aren't too expensive either. All these fragrances so far have really been in the $75, $80 mark. And this one is no exception. Um, this one, even though it's a smaller package, you're not going to have to use many sprays because this is potent juice. What you get out of this fragrance is a aldehydic, grassy, beautiful grassy quality to this fragrance. The best high quality grass uh, kind of greenness to this quality that I've ever smelled. And it has this beautiful, lively fig that's not too jammy and the fig isn't too sweet. So it's blended very well. This is the best aldehydic fragrance. Not only is it the best fragrance that, that uses aldehydes that I've ever come across, but it has the best aspect of grass in a fragrance that I've ever smelled. Um, I think that if you like fragrances like CH212 Man and those kinds of fragrances, I think that you should seriously consider this one. There is a tiny bit of sweetness. So um, a lot of you guys who might like classic fragrances, I got that uh, uh, one coming up that's for you. This one is, a, again, a really modern fragrance from a really modern brand. Uh, this brand is coming out of New York. And um, they're, they're definitely a trendy kind of house. Um, I encourage you, again, to get your nose on this one and uh, try it out. Let me know what you think. I think Kieran is doing a really good job. I think that this is a fantastic house and brand. This is a good fragrance if you like those kinds of things. And um, honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of aldehydes and fragrances a lot of the time. A lot of older fragrances like Chanel Number no. 5 and... Uh, those yellow aldehyde fragrances really put me off of fragrances. Kieran, you did the aldehydes in a magical way. You did it to perfection. And that's a really nice thing. Thank you for your creation. So the next one is Lalique Pour Om. This is one of those classy gent fragrances. I had to bring this out. Um, again, you younger guys and you really trendy uh, people. I just shared some of those uh, really nice ones for you. Those previous fragrances. This one is for some of you classy gents. I still feel like this is modern, uh, has a modern aspect to this fragrance. Even though it has a gentlemanly quality, even though it uh, has, you know, classic notes, uh, classic qualities to it, there's a unique dry, soapy quality to this fragrance. And uh, there is some sweetness, and it has these herbal nuances. It just smells classy. It doesn't smell deep and green and overly oak moss like uh, like some of those fragrances that can that are really nice and quality that you might be used to um, I just think that this one stands out that has really nice performance this one actually has really good performance um, one of the amazing things is is that you can find this at discounters for close to 20 bucks for a full-size bottle 20 bucks for a full-size bottle of this beautiful juice again I do believe that it's somewhere in between the modern and the vintage I don't if you're a really big vintage head and you like the deep green kind of fragrances out there uh, go for try out Papillon Dryad I just wanted to sneak that in here but uh, guys if you want something that's not gonna hurt the bank you want to smell like a CEO you want to smell like a boss you want a very affordable fragrance and it smells like quality uh, every time I've worn this fragrance, I've gotten some oohs and some ahs from this fragrance because this makes you smell like the boss. And uh, trust me, you want to have a very nice clean cut clothes. You want to be dressed up in a white suit, something really nice when you wear a fragrance like this. Please match your outfit to your fragrances. At least I think that that makes a really nice impression. But uh, great fragrance, beautiful fragrance, check it out. Okay guys and gals, 
we're going to jump to the last fragrance here. This is a newcomer on the block from a new brand. This is from Fragrenza. Now, if you haven't heard about this brand, this is a, it's kind of called a clone house, but they do their own inspirations and their own twist. Uh, even their fragrances that are supposed to kind of copy or mimic a fragrance, he always puts his own twist on the fragrance and puts his own attitude. Uh, but he does seriously focus on performance, so you're not going to get bad performance out of his fragrances. Uh, these are $60 for 60 mils, but what is Peach or Blue? It's a clone or interpretation of uh, Blue Lazuli, um, by, I believe by Armani's uh, Privé collection. But um, you got to check this one out. This one is very modern. It has an incense. It has that blue quality to it. But um, there's something different about this. It has a beautiful, um, almost Leighton-like feel. It's not to meant. It's not meant to be a clone of Leighton. It's not to, meant to be inspired by Leighton. But I think it's a kind of a cousin to Leighton. This has a very nice uh, plum kind of note to the uh, fragrance. Again, with an incense that brings up the quality. Um, and brings up the feel of the fragrance to be lighter and airier. Uh, there is almost a little bit of waxiness to this fragrance, but this is very mass appealing, very easy to wear. Uh, for younger guys out there, for a party fragrance, for that kind of thing, I think that this is, could really work, but it's a little bit unique, and it's a li it's not daring, though. It's not hard to wear. There's just something a little bit different about this fragrance. And if you're wanting to stand out, if you're wanting to make a nice impression, and you're really wanting to get noticed as a younger guy, maybe going to a party, maybe going to a date, those kinds of things, um, I think Peach or Blue is perfect for you. Again, anybody can really wear this fragrance. Um, I think that, th again, I just think that this fragrance is playful. It's fun, it's easy to wear, and um, Peach or Blue is one of my favorites from the House of Fragrenza. I think that you should give the house a chance. Uh, Rivalare and Peach or Blue are some of my favorites from this house. So check check them out. Let me know what you think about them. Um, all Again, all these fragrances I think are easy enough to wear. Um, they're not going to hurt the bank too much. $80 or less. Again, that Lalique Pour Homme is a beauty. Um, it's not the lion's head. Don't go for Equius. Uh, this is the original Pour Homme. Um, that, and you can get the full size bottle. Anyways, thank y'all so much for being here today. This is the Scentitar Fragrance Channel. I really do appreciate you. I appreciate your time. I appreciate your support and your love. If you like my content, if you think that this is a good video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and share this video to help me out. You know how to do that. There's a subscribe button, There's a, and you can share this and all that nice stuff below. Let me know, have you ever had a signature scent below? Comment below what is a signature scent, what is a signature scent to you? Everybody has seems to have their own little twist or interpretation of what one is, but I do appreciate you and your time and your love. And I'll see you next time. Wear what you love. Let me know if you like any of these fragrances, if you've smelled them before, and what you think about them. But I'll see you next time. This has been the Scentitar Fragrance Channel. Wear what you love. Have a good one. Have a good weekend. Be safe, and I'll see you. And bye.